I killed a baby. They dropped the a baby. Who is that? Come back here, terrible father. Worst father ever, man. He deserves to get swarmed. How's it going everyone? My name is Graham. Welcome to the Kickstarter demo build of Sea Salt. The Kickstarter is running till the middle of April. I think it's like the 15th. I'll have a link down below. If you're interested in this game, go check it out, support it before that ends. It is a demo for an in-progress game. Uh, things are subject to change, all that. Keep that in mind. But I think it's very similar to Right Click to Necromance, which was popular a little while back. Ruins of the Zithu Thoreal. Seems like as good a place as any to start. And then I'll have a quick chat with Agra de Pesca, which might be... Oh, it is a person, not a place. This is my apostle, and I only have the one available to me right now, so I guess that's who I'm using. It is said that he was once caught by a poor fisherman. In his net, the man saw glory ooze from the eyes of Agra and released him back into the sea. Was it glory, or was he crying? Was he whining like a little fish bitch man? Put me back in the sea. <laughs> put him back in the sea crying. That's such a beautiful fish. Oh, the guy who put him back is crying. Such a beautiful fish is not meant to be eaten by a fool like me. This is a beautiful fish? If you saw this, you would consider sleeping with that. This is the type of mermaid that you're into, is like a fish man. Not like a sexy mermaid or anything. Whatever, man. Whatever floats your boat. Agatha rose, Ag Agra rose to the surface and granted the fishermen three wishes, thus creating the lineage of kings that still rule today. I mean, hey, he got to be king for fucking this fish, so that's pretty good, I'd say. He starts with 25 times st swarm. It's a lot of extra swarm. And stronger swarm, worms explode. Well, yes, exploding worms. Of course, I, I, would, I would want that. I would make good use of that. Oh, shit. So I just... This is maybe a little bit different than Right Click to Necromance, but it has been a while since I've played that. That game had some potential to be expanded for sure. If someone thought to actually expand it, that's awesome. Hold right trigger to attack. Oh, okay, put you guys right up against the gate. Like, that was a really fun, simple game jam product, but, like, it deserved to be made into more. Gain more minions, which I didn't really get to see how, probably from killing things. Press A to select minions. So there's the swarm. Basic melee minions, fast but weak. The worms which I can explode apparently. Slow moving melee minions leave a slow trail of slime. Slowing trail the cultist. Ranged minions that worship Dagon. I don't really care about their religious beliefs. Uh, I can't have the creature fly, crab, fisherman, splitter, lich, or draugr yet. I didn't expect it to be so many things. Uh, I'm gonna go with just the swarm. The more swarming, the better in my mind. I've played a lot of StarCraft in my day. Uh, if I could turn this into like a, a Zergling bum rush, then that's the direction I would most like to take it. Kill all enemies before you can advance. Oh god, they're actually gonna shoot? I wasn't sure what kind of uh, what kind of world we were dealing with here. Like what what sort of timeline or whatever. What kind of weapons things would have to defend themselves with. Also, it seemed like those guys were like weird 1930s mafia men overwhelm enemies to scare them yeah that's why i chose the swarming see these guys have pitchforks i feel like there's like this whole pirate theme thing but for some reason it's like uh capone is who's like fighting against me here so it's victory stats i was kind of taking my time if that matters kills lost seven of them i lost seven those spiky walls might actually kill some of them. I was curious about that. When you're on a scale of that many little minions, it's hard to really keep track of what's happening to every individual little one. And we're advancing, swimming, taking a boat, voyaging somehow as a swarm of monsters towards the east. Choose your path. I feel like there's only the one option, so that's the one I'll go to. Innisburg Harbor. And... How, does it say how I can unlock these guys? No. Oh, it's not that he starts with, like, a multiplier for the swarm. That's what he starts with. This starts with cultists and mermen. Starts with liches and ghosts. This is all I have. It might be all there is for the, for the demo for now. But that's fine. I like the swarms. I would maybe choose him anyways. 
having them like bring down a boat would be cool but also the fact that these things can like swim underwater makes them very terrifying oh yeah we cornered that guy and just oh the gore of ripping one of these guys apart is fucking awesome can i just rip apart barrels and stuff is there like i i just wanted to see if there was more swarms inside of those that i could uncover perhaps Ooh, they tried to cluster up for safety I, I I'll scan the sides to see if there's more swarms. Come on, man, you, you dinks! Gotta get yourselves out of those corners there. This is much more action-heavy and hardcore than right-click to necromance. I feel awesome being. I killed a baby. They dropped the a baby. Who is that? Come back here, terrible father. Worst father ever, man. He deserves to get swarmed. He immediately just sacrificed his baby, and what did that get him? Nothing. I immediately swarmed it and mauled it. No mercy. I feel bad for the baby, but uh, my swarm certainly doesn't, and the swarm has grown beyond my control. I let them do what they want. If they want to kill a baby to punish uh, a neglectful father, that's fine. That's their that's their call. I, I do wish there was something on screen that indicated what I had. Like, um like a count of units. Well, we'll select the worm this time to see how that's different. Slow moving, they also leave behind their trail. I have not a clue how to explode them. Maybe it's a skill I haven't actually unlocked yet. It's just the capacity for that is there. Breaking the barrels and everything's fun, but I don't think I actually get anything out of it. Man, these docks are pretty cool though. Uh, let's keep a close eye on the walls and see if it kills swarm guys. It was hard to say. Couldn't really tell. Ranged minions. Uh, well, let's just get a well-rounded team here. Might as well get them as well. This is... Uh, I was described as like an action RTS. And I feel like a lot of games like to advertise themselves as RTS style. But unless you're literally... Warcraft or Starcraft or whatever, most of them don't live up to that. But, uh, th this doesn't have the micromanagement of something like that. But, yeah, I'd say, I'd say they could advertise themselves as, like, tangential to that. Already here, alert the wharf master. I'll go barricade the market. Ooh, they're actually preparing for this invasion. This is where we're, we're putting it all on the line here. Oh shit, they're throwing Molotovs. Okay, they actually know how to defend themselves now. No, no time to dick around. Gotta go for the jugular. I can kill him. Innocent civilians, you're getting killed too. Big time super killed. The cultist is useful. They can really help out with those guys who are trying to run free. Those weren't... Okay, I saw that in the top corner there. Wanted to make sure it wasn't my guys who had ended up oddly far away. Scouring the corners of the map to like bolster your your force is awesome I want to get this as big and dominating and devastating as possible so I can just Dominate just fuck these things up the faster I can kill them the better if they if they don't even get the opportunity to like Defend themselves. That's my ideal just because it feels fucking sweet to ravage things oh my tribe my troop my crew is getting a little bit separated here i gotta uh get everyone in one location because sometimes you're holding up and if they're in different sides of the screen they're like one one guy gets stuck and the rest don't and they get all separate so i feel like i got everyone brought back together doesn't look like there's anywhere else to explore to add more in that particular area Fuck you. Do you know what? Fuck you. I'm immediately just going to add more to my swarm then before I even bother trying to fight any of you guys. So you're going to, if you're going straight for attack mode before I have a chance to add to my group. Oh, you stupid. I hate the asshole that runs off on his own. Assholes. A lot of them do it. So then they get fucking killed. You're ruining our chances of surviving this. I guess I'm just on the side of these horrible creatures that are just ruining this entire countryside. I seem to have become quite stuck. There we go. They're free. 
we'll just keep adding the swarmers, I guess. The other things are stronger, but I like having lots. Maybe I should be investing more in like an all all cultist team. Like just something something different, something with a variety. I think worms only would be a bad choice since they are so slow. I don't think you would actually be able to get away with doing a whole lot if you went with that. I do like how cowardly these uh the gun the gunmen are oh, fuck, I have one cultist that's not showing up. But that that goes with the whole oh fuck, they killed my other cultist. Hey, he's firebombing himself to take me down. That guy was willing to put it all on the line there for that. He's a fucking madman. Uh, oh, that was just a different way that I could have gone. There was nothing new there. Hmm. The crew is not in too good a shape here. But the, the scare mechanic is pretty cool, though. That if you just, like, decimate someone, just swarm one guy and just wreck him, then that, like, th that scares the larger crew, and then they all scatter and, like, aren't are less likely to be attacking you, because... Oh, do you know what? I I probably don't I probably don't make the worms explode. They explode when they die. But I think we just killed possibly the wharf master. Maybe that was just like a mini boss or something. Provid, oh Lord Dagon, you sure are mighty. Although I wish you wouldn't send all these horrible creatures. <laughs> I've heard that you're capable of so much more. One of the things that I could unlock or whatever was a worshipper of Dagon. So is that Prophet on my side, or did he just do a quick, like, fuck this, I'm converting, Dagon, you're my boy now? <laughs> you clearly know what's up. I'm selling my soul right here, right now. I want on Team Dagon. Pretty short demo, but pretty damn cool. There's a lot of potential there. They could set up some really cool levels and, and neat new mechanics, and, like, they already have many different uh, apostles planned and many different units that you can build up to. The idea to take something like right click to necromance and expand it into a much fuller game and have like a story in there and everything, I'm on board with that. I think that could end up being super cool. So I am a fan of this. I'll make sure this video goes up with enough time that you guys can go support it. April 15th, I believe, is the cutoff, but go check sooner than that just in case if you want to support it. I'll have the link down below, like I said. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.